Monday folks, <laughs> yeah it's Monday, start of a new week, uh, I've had to put the camera in a different position, sit forward a little bit because otherwise uh, I shall disappear in the light. But it's Monday, I haven't really got anything in the line of the little bits that I normally buy on a Monday. Um, one of the main things is probably the last three weeks uh, the store where I get a lot of my gothic sort of jewellery has uh, not been there. Um, I'm hoping that they've just decided to leave it out a little bit till after Christmas maybe and, and do something else because uh, where they are it's pretty flipping cold anyway so that might have been a factor. But anyway, so here I am, sort of sitting forward, hunching forward, talking to you about other bits. Today, you can join me for a little bit of late lunch, which is here. And I'll talk about a couple of other bits and a little bit, show a little bit of DIY which anybody can do it's nothing spectacular some of you probably already do it but it's cheap it's turning something that is one thing into another um it depends if you want that thing around but i usually see them and go oh yes please right so to start with as normally do start with a Cuppa, and seeing as it, it is a cold day, I'm having one of my spicy soups, spicy tomato soups. And by heck, it's good. And if you put some ghost chilli sauce in, it's even flipping better. Ah. To eat, having pizza. So I'll put at least a couple, maybe three pictures up, show you the pizza as it was being made, not all the way through, and you'll get a drift of what it's about. Pizza, bug pizza. <laughs> well, I had uh, quite a lot of uh, mealworms, buffalo worms, crickets, locusts left from the last time I did a video. So I thought I'd try pizza. So that's how I put it together. This is the pizza. And I'm going to try it, see what it tastes like so any Italians watching fingers in your ears shut your eyes because <laughs> you'll go ballistic so there you go and if I can get that close there's the pizza to cheese all the bugs in it and I shall let you know what it's like When I stop dropping bugs on my kilt. Well, tastes like a pizza. Let's give it another bit. As for the locust, um, I still think crickets and locusts are a little bit got a fishy taste. 
a little bit like shrimps or something. It is to me anyway. If you don't want anchovies, stick crickets and uh, locusts on. Buttons up. Walking home today, um, I, I went to a big supermarket. Walking home. If any of you have seen my videos in the past, the paranormal ones, you'll, have rem you'll remember the ones of the church that's just over there that I come past. Things I've seen now. This was at the side of the church actually, church over there, road, path, it's a little side road and that said the paths are, are icy, the only stuff left is flakes of snow, lumps of ice, so you think, you feel like it's a bit of a skating rink on the path, but as I come round them you very rarely get traffic on this little bit. Um, they're just turning for that, those houses. And as I turned in, I, I was coming in on the road and I thought, I'll uh, walk on the road because that was flipping clear rather than the pavement. So <clears throat> I noticed over to my right there was a man on the pavement walking away from me and the thing that comes to mind seeing as I was going to walk on the road I thought what the hell is he walking on there for when he could be walking on a bloody smooth road without any chances of going um, so I, I looked I noticed him that's what I thought and I looked down at my feet about about this quick, look down at my feet, look back up. Where the bloody hell did he go? Nowhere to go. So I thought it's very un highly unlikely, unless he turned into an Olympian, that uh, he had got to the end of the road and turned, but got to the end of the road, no one there anywhere. Um, like I said, he would have had to flip in. Well, like nobody's business, get round that bloody corner, quick as that. So, be it, be it whatever you may. But he was there one second, four seconds later, gone. So yeah, that was my unusual bit of the day, and it's funny that. Those things I come across a lot around that church area. The last bit, the DIY, I thought I'd show you one or two bits that I've done around the house that take nothing at all to do. Some people probably already do it, but it's, it's minutes, it doesn't take a lot of brain power to do it and uh, I'll put some of the pictures up and I'll talk over the pictures as to what I did for those individual things they're candle holders really but just a little bit of DIY how I come about them this one is uh, it's electric uh, wall candles I took all the electrics out just screwed it to the wall added the lace to it and the candles took the electrics uh, and mechanisms out of the the two white candles there just stuck those in I'm not going to use those because they're in the hall uh, so it doesn't matter they're not going to burn down to that plastic and inside the plastic is the metal anyway. But yeah, £1.50 uh, made a nice wall candlestick. This one is a, a ceiling lamp. It didn't have any shades. Uh, it was for candles, electric candles. 
took those out, took all the electrics out. It's now hanging on the ceiling by a hook. I hung those uh, bulbs, they look like bulbs, but they're full of bones and I hung those on for a chandelier effect. The actual candles are tubes of cardboard with a wick suspended inside so they look like candles. So they don't actually light at all. Uh, and that cost me, I think, three pound. This was another ceiling light. Again, I took all the electrics out. It's hanging on a hook on the ceiling. The globe I got from a different lamp, put it onto there. The little bit of glass that you see, the chimney at the top of the globe is actually plastic and it's made from a uh, top part of a squash bottle. And inside the globe, I stuck a little metal container in there that you can uh, place a, a tea light or something like that. That cost me, I believe, three pound at the time, uh, which was a, a good deal for that type of lamp. Okay, there you go. That's uh, one or two very, very simple ways that I get all the stuff that's going cheap that does one thing and I turn it into something that I want it to do. So if you like those sort of things then uh, have a go at it. thing that makes me do it is that in the hall I've got quite a few in the hall and I haven't got electrics in the wall to be able to put electrical ones so the candle kind of ones are much better it saves messing about with electrics and to the most i use the battery candles where possible because if they're out there in the hall you don't want to be sitting in here the candles burning out there so much better to use battery ones really um, if it's somewhere where you are that you can use candles because it's within your sight fair enough use real candles and like the big one in the hall it doesn't do anything really that's that said it's decoration so even the candles are fake but it looks all right so there you go folks, I'm still sitting in this freaking laser light, I should do a disappearing bloody act now should I? Something like that. So have fun, I'm going to finish my soap. Finish this stuff that's bugging me. <laughs> Have a nice week.